creativity is key when you're creating content. But when you're experiencing the feeling that you're drained of your creativity and there's nothing left, you're experiencing creative burnout. Let's all admit, creative burnout does happen, but it doesn't happen. Creative burnout can have the effects of feeling overwhelmed, frustrated with a sense of imposter syndrome, and overall feeling exhausted. Ultimately, this doesn't help you in your creative process, nor does it help you with engaging with your audience. And sometimes this causes you to be inconsistent and not showing up. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing my tips and systems on how to avoid creative burnout. And if you enjoy social media, marketing, and business content, please consider subscribing. These tips and systems will help you avoid creator burnout, in which you can implement in your creative journey today. As I was editing, I wanted to make sure that I want you to look at it through a lens of creator burnout is part of the process and you should fall in love with that process because if you don't go through some of these things, then you don't grow. And that's just like the hardest truth. This video is hopefully is going to find you in the midst of where you're in the creative burnout as opposed to, you know, I'm going to avoid creator burnout as much as possible because I honestly think that we all have a different experience on creator burnout. So I just want to make sure that you're not avoiding creator burnout is as if it was a part of a play. This is to encourage you and also to help you, but not to the point where it's like, oh my gosh, creator burnout. It's, it's going to happen to me and I don't want it to happen to me. It's going to happen to you. That's the honest truth. So the first system that I want you to get to is create content that you enjoy creating. Honestly, it's 2022 and we don't want to be stuck doing something we don't want to do. This doesn't mean that you have to be 100% married to this specific niche or specific content. I want you to start creating content you can see yourself creating for at least two to three years because you can pivot at any time. And that's one thing I want you to keep in mind. After you decide on which content you want, decide on which content style that works best for you and the longevity of your platform. And this is just to name a few. This can be in a form of a vlog, interview, sit down style like I'm doing right now, or you can also create a tutorial type of content. Of course, there's different styles within the main styles of creating content, but the biggest thing I want you to remember is that you have all of the creative power within yourself to do this. After discovering what style and what types of content works best for you, continue creating that style content, but also continue on testing other and new types of styles of content. After you decide on which content you want to create and which style of content you want to create, you're going to have to dedicate days or times for specific tasks to break up your workflow. Dedicate a day for coming up with content ideas and then dedicate a day writing your content ideas. This can be in a script or a guide that will help guide you through your whole entire video. This can include the title of your video, a hook to get your audience engaged into your content, also your content points. Then after once you get all of that, dedicate a day for filming. Best way to do this is to match your content. This will maximize your content. Also, dedicate a day for editing your content. Your editing and your process will become faster. Frequently engage with your audience daily. This doesn't have to be every hour, but at least once a day is plenty. Another tip on how you can avoid creator burnout is to discover a new or old hobby that you may have had. I consider it the part of my lifestyle, which is exercising every single day. I personally believe that when your body feels good, if your mental feels good, and it just creates an abundance of creativity for me because I use that time to listen to podcasts, to not be on social media. I also started watching documentary based off of creative people. It ignites a lot of inspiration. So it gives me that next like push. Another how to avoid creative burnout is to stay true and authentic to yourself. This can seem like a hard pill to swallow. If you're not true to yourself, then your work is actually going to reflect that. Another thing is at the very end of all of my videos, I say just be yourself because honestly, you need to just be yourself. I've felt like this for a very, very time that a lot of people they're not true to, and authentic to themselves they just don't admit it and they don't change over time it's just not going to help you for the future especially if you have goals especially if you 
have different aspirations in where you want to go. If you're constantly worried about what others are going to perceive of you, who cares? Because this can be truly damaging to your, your creative process. You have to admit, if you change nothing, you've changed nothing. And if you have goals without systems in place, you're just going to set yourself up for failure over and over again. It honestly reminds me of like hamster wheel and you just spinning around and spinning around because you haven't set up the system in order to help you. Hopefully this can help you and if you want to hear my backstory on my creative burnout, I will link the video in the description box below. But with all of that said, if you enjoyed this video and if you learned something, please give this video a like, subscribe, don't forget to juice be yourself, and as always, I will see you in my next video. Discuss the different step bark on what more that add into specific things that will get you.